So this week's episode is a little bit different. Um, a buddy of mine, Jeff, um, his pop tag will be here. He created these crazy neon neon sticks uh, in one of his photos, and I was like, we need to do this in a tutorial, and I'm going to put it on my YouTube, and he was like, sweet, okay, I'm going to try and film it. He filmed it, it's rad, it's a little bit long, but it's good, it, it, it's a good log because it's informative, and you actually learn so much, like, I know Photoshop, and yeah, this guy killed it, so, um, well, here you go, here's Jeff's tutorial. Go for it, Jeff. What's going on, guys? My name is Jeff of RGB Jeff. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to Alex of AT5 Millimeter for hosting me here. Uh, you can find me on RGB underscore Jeff on Instagram and my review blog. You can check out it's luxuryreports.net. We do a little short form reviews and it's really photography focused. Me and a few buddies do the do the pictures for all of it. So you guys really might enjoy that. Uh, go check it out. Uh, today I want to show you guys how to make fluorescent uh, light tubes in Photoshop. I looked around on YouTube. I couldn't really find a good tutorial so I went ahead and freehanded it and it turned out pretty good everybody asked me was like hey where did you buy those light tubes at I was like I made them in Photoshop so I'm gonna go over how to make them and then I'm gonna go over how to kind of blend them into whatever you're doing because uh, that's also important for making it look real uh, if that's what you're going for so let's get into it okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making our own uh, new layer, uh, <clears throat> transparent layer, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go to your brushes over here and click on this little thing. It says clear brush controls, so we don't get any pointed tips or anything crazy. We wanna make sure our hardness is at 100%, uh, spacing's at one, and the size you can play with, get whatever size you want that fits your picture. I'm gonna go with 30 this time. <clears throat> we're gonna go to your make sure you're still in your new layer uh, we're gonna go to our pen tool and we're just gonna draw ourselves a little line we're just gonna do one little uh, one little bar for uh, for this tutorial you click your path up here and then you end it over here if you want to hit shift and click right there then you get a perfectly horizontal or horizontal or vertical line whichever whichever way you're going. Uh, you're going to right click. You're going to go to stroke path. And since we're not doing any pressure brushes or anything, it doesn't really matter if this is on or off. Uh, I'm going to make sure your tool set to brush. Hit OK. And there you got it. We're going to do white for this, uh, for this tutorial. Um, there's your light bar. We're going to go back and right click and delete that path and there it is so after that we're going to make a copy hit command j or control j if you're on a windows machine and we're going to eat we're going to come back to that in a little bit uh this is going to be our light tube so let's name it light tube we're going to double click on the end of the layer here to bring up our layer style box. And what we want to do is click bevel and emboss. Now that's going to make our tube kind of three dimensional looking, uh, which is one of the keys to making it look real. We'll start from the top. Uh, uh, we're going to enter bevel. We're going to smooth. <coughs> If you want to play around with any of these, you can. But for this is for this tutorial, we're gonna use this uh, depth. You can play around with. Uh, let's go to size. Oh, we can't see it. I'll tell you why we can't see it. It's because we've got a layer on top. Okay, now our layer is visible. Let's do go back. <clears throat> go back to bevel and emboss there it is you zoom in a little bit you can see what we're looking at so we kind of you know we play around with this to make it look you know a little round that's a little bit too uh, hard line for me so we'll fade it off a little bit um, 
It's a little too much. I usually go ten, you know, around here. Looks good, six and ten. Make it a little softer. Um, sorry about that. Apparently the Braves won tonight. I had no idea. Uh, let's go to angle. You can play with that depending on where your light's going to be or where your, uh, you know, where you're going to put your light, where the light's going. Put the bevel on that side or you can put the bevel on that side. Play around with this to make sure you get it to look right. You know, you want to bevel here and a little bit going up top to the little bend there. Um, here's your opacity. Uh, you're mainly concerned with the shadow, uh, the shadow mode. That's going to lighten and darken your shadow, what that is. And we're going to dip it down a little bit. I want to go with 30 so it's not, when we do our, uh, when we do our light fall off, it's going to highlight it a lot more. So we'll come back and play with that. But for now, I'll leave it at 30. Hit OK. And that's going to be your light tube. This is going to be your light fall off. So if you want to name it light tube, blur, or fall off, whatever you feel like, I'll just name it blur. And we're going to uh, go up here. We're going to go to filters, and we're going to go to Gaussian blur. Um, <clears throat> see if you went ahead and, you know, nailed the uh, Gaussian blur, you're going to get a weird blur. It doesn't look right. You know, this is too hard of an edge. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make our light fall off look real. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's say, let's start with four pixels. We're going to hit OK. And now we blurred that. We're going to Command J, hit Copy. And then we're going to do it one more time. Command J again. We're going to make the second copy. Oops, I don't want to rename it. We want to go back up here to Gaussian Blur. We're going to go to, we're going to double it. Because the way light kind of fall off, falls off, it's a little uneven. So, you know, it gets, it's, it gets, it goes less and less as it goes out. Whereas if you just blurred this whole layer, it would just be one uniform blur all the way out. So, we're going to keep doubling this number to make it look kind of even. And I think that's the big key to making the light fall off look real and the, uh, makes the tube look a little bit more real. Now you see what I was telling you, the, the, uh, the bevel here is going to stand out more and more as we keep going. So we're going to hit copy again. Go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 8. We're going to go to 16. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we're going to copy it again. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Double that and go to 32, I guess. I know how to add, I promise. Hit OK. Let's copy it again. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We're going to go to, what's 32, 32, 64. Hit OK. See how our light is falling off more and more and more and more. We're going to copy it one more time. You can keep doing this as many times as you like or as little times as you like uh, to get the effect you want. I'm going to do 120. A, oops. A little too far. 129. That was cool. And there we have it. This is going to be our blur layer. So we're going to look at these. Don't get too intimidated. Just make sure you select all the blur layers. And we're going to merge them. Since we're done making all of these. Now you can, you know, if you want to keep going, you don't have to merge them. But uh, we're going to merge them right here because that's 
what I want it to look like. All right, and so you got your little tube right here. Uh, we're not finished yet. What we're gonna do is get a little layer mask, and we're going to find our uh, gradient tool, and we're gonna make sure we're selected to black. Alrighty, and what we're gonna do is fade the light a little bit to make it look kind of real. Alright, what I'm doing is just you know dragging the blur tool till it looks right. Usually you won't get too much light coming off of the top here. Let's go a step back. Let's even go a bit further because what we're gonna do we're gonna blur it this way. I'll show you what I'm doing. Is we want it to make it look like the light is shining towards the car. So we're just kind of going to angle it towards the car. I think I like how that looks. And back here, just kind of make sure you do it evenly. We're going to make it look like Shining that way a little more. Just make sure you don't go too far. And there it is. I think I like that. Um, if you like it, uh, what you can do, you can leave it like this if you want. But what I'll do to go a little step further is merge these together. Just like that. Now we've got our light tube, and it's all the same thing, the blur layer and everything. And what we're going to do, we're going to hit screen. It's our blending mode so that it blends correctly, kind of so it looks like it's lighting up versus, you know, brightening up things. Uh, if you see back here, I kind of left my light stand in the picture just because I knew I was going to do this. So kind of wanted it there to kind of anchor this light into reality. So what we're going to kind of put it over there. It's it's out of the way. It's not, you know, in your face. It's kind of subtle. If you look for it, you can see it. And a couple of other of these pictures, you can see a little bit better, and I left it in there. Um, you know, that's one of these ways you can make it look more real is add something else to the picture or add it to something that's back there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're essentially going to dodge the ground. And what I mean by that is just lighten up the light spaces so that it looks like this light is casting a reflection on the ground. So what I'm going to do is go over down here. We're going to get ourselves a curves layer. And we're going to go in the middle and just drag it up to right before it clips. There's other ways you can do this, but this is the way I usually do it. You hit Command-I to invert your layer. And then get your pen or your mouse or whatever. Okay, to go to your brush. Make sure you select a white brush so that we're unmasking what we got here we're gonna go uh, double click this and we're gonna blend if and what we're gonna do is hold option click and drag this out here maybe about two-thirds of the way this is just telling the uh, telling Photoshop that we only want to paint in the lighter parts of the picture we hit OK we're going to go up to here to our flow, turn that down some, and then we're going to go to town, get ourselves a little pressure brush. Uh, just like that, just make it soft. It doesn't, this part, as long as it's soft, it doesn't matter. Hardness all the way down. Uh, 
so that way we don't make hard lines because that's not what it's going to cast on this uh, pavement. So we're going to go and just kind of lighten up the ground in front of it. Right there. That way. Just kind of looks like there was a light there. There's other ways you can do that too, but that's the way I usually do it most. Um, but yeah, play with it. Um, get it how you like. That's how. That's pretty much how I do it. You can make more than one if you want. You know, take them around the car. Uh, just cut them out of the back of the car, and or you know, go to town with it. But that's your basics right there. Um, that's about it. I think I'm done with this. You can group these together and have yourself a little time. Name it light tube and you're done. I uh, want to give a quick shout out to Alex again for hosting me, hosting this video for me. Um, like I said, go find me at uh, RGB underscore Jeff on Instagram and come check out my blog uh, luxuryreports.net uh, you can follow me on Twitch where I um, from time to time I'll go on if I'm doing images I'll just edit them out there uh, it's fun you not you know it's, you can come check me out ask me questions while I'm editing if you wanna you know watch me do my thing uh, my Twitch handle is RGB Jeff there too RGB space Jeff um, other than that, that's about it. I appreciate you guys taking the time to check this out. We will uh, hope to see you on Twitch. Well, Jeff, you have taught me something. I know Photoshop pretty well. I didn't know that. Didn't know that at all. So I've learned quite a bit from that. So, Jeff, hats off to you. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of neon in lots of photos coming out from a lot of different avenues. So... I'm glad you shared that with us, and thank you very much, mate. Um, his pop tag is here, just, just, just here, around here, and um, yeah, check out his Instagram because he's he's such an underrated dude. He deserves a lot more of a following. His work's insane. So yeah, thanks again, Jeff. And um, well, that's that's me. So uh, I'll see you next week. Alex out. Bye. See you later. <laughs>